Thank you very much. Thank you for the invitation. An honor to be here. And in order to speak after so distinguished politicians that refer to as, as something that we live every day, which is infrastructure, so I will spare you any analysis from this, which is already done. I think if it, any use on my side, my presence today would be to give the market understanding of Armenia and infrastructure and whatever we have actually understood having a 20 years experience in Romania. Well, as you know, Actor is a company uh, that is 20 years now operating in Romania and in Greece for many decades. Uh, of course, it suffered, as every other Greek company, a very severe 10 years financial crisis that, uh, of course, had a significant impact on Actor Romania as well. Uh, however, Recent events have changed the outlook of this significantly. We uh, acquired, Act, Intracat actually, acquired Actor last November, and the first thing was uh, to recapitalize and reset Actor Romania by actually sending significant amounts in order to proceed with the projects on hands. I will spend a couple of minutes just to give an update of what is going in terms of expediting a zero, I know that Romanian, especially uh, citizens of Bucharest are, and the minister, I'm sure, gasping to know when that project will be over. I have, as you may know, minister, I represented to everybody that we will finish A0 by the end of summer. It's a commitment. You may have uh, already seen that we have uh, three ships on the, on the site currently. We're even working at night to keep the promise. It is dead certain. Uh, we will do whatever is necessary in order to set this road to operation by the end of summer 2024. Uh, the other project that is uh, in the media and particularly important for us is the Apatakata Lot 2. Uh, we managed within a very short period of time from uh, acquiring Acto to bring all the first two TBMs which were on site, Eleni and Varvara, to set Eleni on, uh, in operation a uh, month ago. Varvara is expected to be in operation next month. And we have also started bringing from Germany uh, the other two TBMs, which will be in place and uh, in operation, I would say, as per schedule. So this, this project is a very complicated, as you know, technical project with four TBMs uh, operating in parallel. I think there is no other project in Europe and that uses 40 BM operating in, in parallel. It's highly techni technical, and we are, again, that certainly will go well. As soon as we manage to set the first in operation in such a short period of time and actually mobilize the other two, uh, we are comfortable and confident that we will finish on time now. So all recapitalizing after Romania is also showing how important the Romanian market is for actors. Actor used to operate in 25 countries. Uh, we resuffled the whole thing. Uh, we ceased activities in most of uh, these countries. So, I mean, far away markets like Australia, Chile, whatever. We, we, we start de demobilizing from there. And we are focusing, of course, in Greece with a significant backlog now. And in Romania, because exactly we believe that out of all uh, East European markets, Romania is the one with the greatest perspectives in terms of infrastructure, both because of the need of infrastructures and mainly because of its geopolitical position near Ukraine. Eventually, the war will finish, and I hope uh, and we believe it will finish pretty soon. So re reconstruction of Ukraine passes through uh, Romania. And what we am certain we are going to create is a lane connecting Alexandropoli to Costanzo, which is a need, a geopolitical need, and I'm certain it will be created. And that will, of course, necessitate railway and motorway. So I believe that for a significant period of time in the future, Romania will be the prime market for us. And having an establishment we are having and the experience we are having as actors in Romania, we intend to increase our activity and, of course, increase our investment. We are particularly happy listening that you are exploring the possibilities of concessions and TPP projects. 
uh, we welcome the idea. We think this is the next step forward uh, in order to proceed faster and more cheaper in producing the, the uh, results we are looking for in terms of info. And we will be here investing heavily if that will be the, the choice we are going to take. Thank you. Thank you.